Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain how to solve the problem C from the educational code for this round 85. Basically, we are given n monsters and we need to kill all of them using as few hits as possible and also using the fact that killing some of the monsters uh, generates a chain reaction which in turn kills the following monsters based on the damage of their explosion. At the first glance, a greedy approach may work, like take the monster with the lowest hit point amount, kill him, and then generate the chain reaction using some efficient data structure like a cell. But it turns out that this doesn't work. So we need to think of something more clever. Now I have written the sample here. A common approach used for the circle problems is to double the array given. Basically, I'm going to write each of the pairs once more. 7, 15, 2, 14, 5, 3. This helps us to turn the circle problem, which is messier to implement, into a linear problem which is easier to implement. Basically, we have reduced the problem to finding the minimum cost to kill a range of monsters, which has to be of length n every time. In this case, we can now fix the first monster and see what happens. If we kill the first monster using the full seven point strength, he is going to kill in turn the second monster because the damage 15 is bigger than the number of hit points too, and then the second monster is going to kill in turn the third monster. Basically, cost is equal to 7. However, if we kill the second monster, the chain reaction will start with a 14 damage, which in turn will kill the third monster, but the third monster can't kill the first monster, and this will lead us to needing 4 hit points in order to kill the first monster. As you can see, 2 plus 4 is 6, which is the required answer. How are we going to implement efficiently this algorithm? Well, assuming we have fixed the position of the first monster, let's say it's here, we can now keep an array which tells us how much damage does uh, the next monster need in order to be killed after the chain reaction. For the first element, we can't have any damage because there is nobody in left of him. For the second monster, we don't need any damage as well because 15 kills him. For the third monster, we don't need any damage as well. For the fourth monster, which is the copy of the first monster, we need 4 damage to kill him because 3 minus 7 is equal to minus 4. And then again, for the fifth monster, we don't need anything. And then for the sixth monster, we don't need anything. Basically, what can we do is fixing the first monster kill and then finding the sum of the next n minus 1 uh, numbers in this new array. Basically, for the, second, for the first monster, this part will be this. But for the third monster, let's say, this part will be equivalent to this range. In order to compute the sum of this segment effectively, we need to use uh, one of the two methods. Either prefix sum, which will uh, lead us to finding the answer in O1 with an ON pre-computing, or since uh, the range is constant, like the length of the segment is always equal to N minus one, we can now use two pointers. Basically, we need to compute the first n minus one number, the sum of them, and then at each subsequent step, we need to drop the leftmost position and add the rightmost position. This will lead us to a linear time. Now I'm going to move to the implementation. Basically, here I read the array and the array of cost, which helps us find the sums. Here I computed the array of costs, which is computed as I mentioned in the previous part. Well, for i equal to 0, I added here 
the hit points necessary to kill him, but we don't use that position, so it doesn't matter. We need to be careful because the numbers in the input actually need long long, so we need to use long long for each part of the problem. And then, as I said, I pre computed the sum of the first n minus 1 hit points for the first monster, and then I fixed the uh, hit points necessary to kill the first monster, and then I used the two pointers in order to update the sum. Last but not least, I have taken the minimum cost necessary to do it, assuming we start in some place. If you liked watching this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell button in order to feel to be the first one to get notifications about the new videos. Until the next time, stay safe, good luck, and goodbye.